Hmm. You were lucky. Only vacancy we have. This is our busy season. You see, Joe, I told you they'd make room for you. Yeah, he was here once before, wasn't he? I started here six months ago. I know it won't take long this time, Joe. You just need some rest. You're just a little down. Just a day, Hamilton. Well, can't we take care of this after he goes to his room? I mean, he hasn't slept for days. He needs some rest. Joe, it's 4.30. You've been working over 24 hours. Oh, come to bed. You've got to get some rest. I don't need rest. I'm the best, Mary. Sleep's for creeps. You keep the night bright. Dance with me, Mary. Romance with me. Romance. Romance. Romance with me, Mary. Come on, Sarge. Give him a break. Just check his old charts in from last time. When Dr. Seltzer sees these blinds, I'll tell him to You do that. Come on, over here. Come on, Mr. Hammond. We're going to take you to the executive suite. If you want to shave, call me, and I'll get you an electric. Have the rules changed? I mean, the condition has changed. No house privileges until we see a marked improvement. Anything else? Pen knives, glasses, pills? Oh, Joe. Joe, listen. i got to get back to the kids now, huh? You'll be fine. They hoped you before, Joe. You'll see. Everything will be all better. Yeah. Hold on. Call you later, honey. Maybe I'm out of line here, but uh, I'd just like to know what happened to you in the last six months. When you left here, you had this pretty straight. Look at you now. You're a mess. What was it? The bottle? Drugs? All right, breakfast in 10 minutes. I am not hungry. Then, the morning roll call at 9, Dr. Seltzer at 10.30, then occupational therapy of all day. Mom, will you take the chair? introduce you around. You probably know a lot of people here. I understand that you were here before. I don't know how to tell you this, Mr. Hammond, but your, your right pulse isn't working at all. Oh, your left, on the other hand, is working twice as fast. Good. That right, will just put them together. This is wood. That's a wooden thermometer. Uh, allow me to Why introduce myself, sir. David Murray is the name. I am your, uh, your roommate and caretaker. And I, uh, I also give uh, psychiatric advice for five cents an hour or any portion thereof. So just let it tumble out whenever the need hits you. I am here to help, Sire. Ah, you see, it's working already. Ah, let me help you. Uh, it has been my experience in several uh, numerous sojourns here and other such confines that there is nothing better for a nut than a nut. I, uh, I'm a very busy man, Mr. Hammond. I have all kinds of patients to look into and lots of paperwork, but I'm going to give you as much time as I possibly can. That's uh, time for breakfast. When the fun begins, uh, I do love the morning sessions. They seem to catch more truth in the morning. During the day, we learn to lie a little better. Insight. <laughs> Stories of modern man's search for meaning. Get 
Now, so it's your name. You know my name. Well, come on, let us hear you say it. Mr. Miller. Mr. Miller. Miller. Mr. Miller. Miller. Mr. Miller, this is very helpful to the others. You're holding us up. But I want to talk! I tried my best to work with them. All right, Bad Harry, news. please, you'll have your turn. Now, would you please stop wearing white? You're throwing people off. Well, Hiram, I do work here. All right, my work is wherever I go. All right, and my job is saving souls from the likes of you. All right, Murray, sit down. We'll talk to you later, Mr. Miller. My name is Billy, and, and I came in here very upset because they tried to take my baby away from me. See, see, these, these aren't from razors like a lot of you. They're from breaking handcuffs when they tried to take away my baby. The, the two cops couldn't stop me. If I want to do something, I'll do it. I feel better. The doctor says that I'm losing my hostility. And, and my husband says that, that if I keep improving, then maybe Sunday, maybe I'll be able to go for a walk with him and my baby girl. I'm really much better. I'm really well enough to see my baby. That's good, Billy. See, I just, I just want to see my baby again. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Joe Hammond. You were here before. I remember your drawings on the bulletin board. Joe came back because he needed a little more help. How are you feeling? Joe? The name is Joe Hammond. And I feel. And I don't have any. Arts and crafts, isn't it? Aren't we supposed to be arts and crafts yes, now? Yes, it's arts and crafts. So let's arrange the chairs. Hey, Joe. You, uh, remember Maria from last time? Lopez tells me that you helped her a lot. She's a little busy now, Joe. She just came back from, uh, shock therapy, so maybe she don't remember you right now. Three months! I 
couldn't put anything together on that typewriter. Well, I'll see you again tomorrow, Joe. I could use, use something to help me sleep. All right. I want you to keep yourself busy until our next appointment. I don't want you spending all your time in your room. All right, Joe? You're an artist, Joe. Give us a hand with some of our patients who are still Away will you, Lopez? Go away. Leave me alone, Lopez, please. I'll tell them you're not feeling well. Maybe tomorrow. trying to force them on me for the past four weeks. You see, I, I very cleverly tuck them under my tongue when Nursie Fu gives them to me, and then I remove them thusly after she leaves. You mean you haven't taken any of your medication? They're trying to dull my power. I'm much clever for them, though. I'm, I'm curing myself organically by helping others. You're a real bona fide nut. <laughs> Aren't you, David? I knew a guy like you once. He played games like you played. His name? Joe Hammond. That's me. Aha. Uh -huh. You flatter yourself, sire. Two times in this institution merely qualifies you for the uh, semi-pro list. On the other hand, when you've done time behind the, the big wall, padded rooms and the, and the wet sheets. Well, that, that, was, that was before, though, before I began to cure myself by curing others. I probably won't ever need pills again. One is much happier when why, helping others. Hmm. It's time for my rounds. Uh, Delaney. I have to go see Delaney. He's the uh, junkie in 403. And then uh, on to my analyst. Uh, I have to dream up a few lines to blow his mind. He's much too smug. And the serious case. Miller. Miller. Did you see Miller this morning? Yes, I know. He has a plate in his forehead, you know. Frontal lobotomy. I can't seem to make it with Miller. Very hostile, very hostile. He was a POW, you know. Apparently they played some little games with him that he can't forget. I think the lobotomy was a mistake. A couple of acupuncture needles in the heart would have done the trick. <laughs> oh, and then, Maria. Very difficult, very serious. Did you know that, did you know that she was raped by her father when she was 12? Don't waste your time on her, Dick. She likes her mystery. Oh, well, uh, you know all about that, don't you, Sire? Hey, Joe, how do you feel? And I understand you're a pretty good pool shot. Come on, why don't you join me in a game of pool? Oh, I pass. Listen, I, uh, I'm sorry I yelled at you. Hey, that was a lousy thing that you did to Maria. Hey, Joe, everybody's got problems. Everybody's got problems, Joe. Look, she's in a room. You really put her on a down trip. Now, why don't you just stop by there and just talk? Let's you mind your own business, Tom. Okay, have it your own way, partner. Maybe you ought to stay away from her. So what about it, Joe? Is it just your work? There must be something you can do if you really can't write anymore. My old man was out of work for four months, but he found something. He's selling vacuum cleaners from door to door. I mean, you too proud to do an honest day's work. It's big and strong. Get a job. Stop wallowing in self-pity. Won't you shut up? Will you please just shut up? Get off my back! The doctor prescribed something for you, Joe. Get back, Joe! 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 Get back,
he should have been in the big war, and he came at me like a tiger. You know. He gave out information to the enemy. Coward. Nice. <laughs> Three days here, and at least you're starting to participate a little. I know that if you play the game, you get out. I want to get off the merry-go-round, Doc. You think you're ready, Joe? No. I know if you got out too early, you may come right back. Go some place worse. Upstate, my old roommate's all my mother. Yes, Murray. He's a semi-regular. Why is he here instead of up there, Doc? Oh, Murray has kind of a messianic complex, Joe. But in his case, it seems to help others. That's what you're all here for. You know, with all we know about medicine and the mind, the one thing that seems to work best is working and being around others. Other wackos? <laughs> oh, we're all a little nuts, Joe. But I guess that's part of what it means to be human. We hurt, we can't do all the things we want to do, but a place like this lets us know that uh, it's all right to be weak and imperfect, to be human. Let's just know that we have to reach out to others, to, to help us. Oh, but let's get back to you. How do you feel today? How do you feel today? thinking, Joe? Maria? She called twice. I didn't even return the call, Doc. No, that was before. Try it again. You're getting better, Joe. You'll be back at your typewriter again in no time. Joe, New York is screaming. We're going to have to turn the copy over to one of the other guys. Yeah, James, I got, uh, I got 30 pages of notes here for a one-page commercial. I, uh, I can't put it together. I, I can't put it together. I can't. Why don't you take the weekend off? We all hit these dry spots. Oh, Deb, you wouldn't know a good piece of coffee if you stepped on it. You need 12 guys to tell you when you like it. Oh, come on. Oh, get on my back. Get off my back. Get off my back. privacy around here? Well, anger, huh? Oh. That's healthy. Okay. You know, you're something else, Joe. I, it's just hard for me to believe it's the same guy I met this time. I really thought you were something else. Like I'd have bet no way you'd ever come back here. How did you crash? You really want to know? Yeah, I really want to know. No pairs. Yeah, Joey, there aren't enough men around that take you for one of them. I don't like to be wrong. I can't afford it. You've been burned a few times? Yeah. You know, I took a look at you. I looked at your wife and I envied her. Yeah, I envied her. I said, he's got a little problem. He could use some help, but this is a man. This is the kind of guy I want. And you turn me on a little, Joe. How about that? Oh, not enough to forget that you were married or a patient, but uh, you got to. Be. Oh, boy, oh, boy. <laughs> True confessions of super nurse. Yeah, but I was wrong. You were sick. You fine. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh! Ah! Oh! Oh! The helper needs help. Yeah, that's what I thought. I, I know, I know, I know. I know something about you, Lopez. Physician, heal thyself. Your mother. 
wanted a boy. And your father wanted a boy. And so did you. doing myself any good around here. I was uh, doing my little act. I, uh, playing games like my roommate. I'm a manipulator. I manipulated people. You remember the last time? I'm a word merchant. I mean, I, I, I write. I write on paper. Oh, boy, do I write. And when I'm red hot, I can, uh, I can talk pretty good off the cuff. My fingers stopped working, and I couldn't think. One day, I found myself fumbling for change at a, at a cigarette counter, and I couldn't ask. I couldn't ask for directions, and I couldn't ask. I, I couldn't ask my wife to help me because I, I, was, I, I was too proud. <laughs> He's still protected. He don't get much work back from me. I scared more guys than he's my truck. Oh, sure. Lopez, Lopez, wait, wait. Look, uh, I think you've been working around creeps like me too much. We're sickies around here. You need, to, you need to change your job. You need to clear out of here. What do you think? Yeah, I must have got your wife call. She'll be able to see you tomorrow. Well, afternoon. Better get the crew shaped up. We got ourselves a full moon. Hey, come on, Lopez. You're not superstitious at full moon. Don't give me that full moon stuff. I don't want it. Lopez, you better check the high intensity area. There's rumblings down there. Miller's acting up again, and Maria's at the end of her tether. I don't know what we do around here with our boots. What? What happened to my papers? Miller just beat somebody up. He's picking on people and everything. I'm going to take care of it myself. I, I don't. I, I can't stand violence, but I, I won't. I won't take cruelty. Come from on, Murray. You're not a doctor. Now shape up. Don't cause any waves around here, man. You're not going to get out of here. And that's the truth. Should I? I like it here now, you know. I, I'm on the privilege list. I can go home any time I want to. My mother and I are getting along fine, and my old girlfriend is... What are you... Don't you try to confuse me. I'm the doctor here. Don't try and take my job away from me. Ah. Uh -huh. You stole Billy's home, didn't you? Now you have to give it back to her, don't you? Did you hear? About Maria. She was in her room and, and he broke in and attacked her. He worked her over pretty good. Let me tell you, when you need help, you call me. And I promise you, I'll be there. I'll be right there whenever you need me. I'm not going to pick on anybody anymore. I fixed Miller's clock, Joe. I just walked right in there and they had him strapped in the bed. They thought I was an ordinary. What, what, what did you do? I poured the light of fluid on him and then I lit it. A Roman candle. means, Maury. Huh? You could have killed him. Vengeance is mine. Oh, we'll, we'll pack your stuff later, Maury. Joe? I'll take you to a safe place. Maria needs a friend now. You ought to go and try and help him. I can't. I can't help him. I can't help anybody. I can't help anybody. Get thee well. Get thee well and hide thee from this place. You were not meant for these confines, Sire. Return. 
return to your wife and your life. It's going to be all right. 